Hello everyone, today I'm very lucky to have been invited onto a private stretch of the River Itchen and I'm into a shoal a little grayling. I've been very fortunate, I've had a two pound, two ounce one earlier on and loads of trout. So, um, it's a beautiful bit of water, absolutely stunning. But um, you've got to find a bit of depth somewhere. As you can see the bottom, there's not many fish in it other than trout and the trout are spawning so they're all on the shallows but it's fantastic fishing it's so nice to be on these sort of waters they really are beautiful I'll give you a pan around gorgeous got a slightly better one might be a trout there's a lot of trout It is a trap. <laughs> Not very good start. Nevertheless, these trout are stunning. Look at that. Absolutely stunning, beautiful fish. There's a lot of them spawning at the moment uh, on the shallows. So I've had a few. Um, Drop a load of milk on me, oh, that'd be nice. So yeah, tackle today. It's a five gram crystal Avon. Nice and simple. Five gram crystal Avon by Drennan. Just with a four gram Olivet. And then a Carisso hook tie and a 16 or an 18 hook. Nice and simple. Feeding loads of maggots, loads and loads of maggots. You just can't put enough maggots in on these sort of waters, I think. The water's so fast. Um, I'm going away from my normal stick boat today because I just need something just to control the flow. The flow is quite strong. So these are the average size grayling I'll be catching at the moment in this particular swim. They are absolutely stunning fish. They are so difficult to hold on to. They are absolutely wiggly like hell but they're lovely little fish the two pounder i had earlier i couldn't get a decent photo of him he's wiggling around so much but i might move on in a minute to um see if we can find some more of those big ones something else you catch on the here <laughs> these little salmon par the beautiful little rings Sometimes you see the salmon swimming around in the water. Proper aquarium. Right, let's try and follow this float down. See if we can see it. Oop, there's a fish. <laughs> Just like that. Oop. Another grayling. another fish these grayling they do tend to move up quite they're quite keen they come up to the feed they don't wait for it to hit the bottom like roach do they're on it I've got to be careful as I go down there. There's a big fallen tree. I'm hoping there's some chubbies under there. But I've got to be a bit careful uh, letting it go too far. If I hook one down there, I'm going to do well to get it out. See that big tree? It's a monster. But I do get a, quite a few bites right just before it gets to it. Oh, 
this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. So I've moved down the river quite a bit. I can't even remember where I last spoke to you. This loads of swims, loads of trout, loads of little grayling. I'm really after a chub. I know that against these uh, Norfolk sedges, I think they're called. I've caught quite a few chubs before. Not these ones in particular. But it's a hard job to find a swim. There's a lot of shallow water and the visibility is eight foot down. So you need at least six or seven foot for the fish to be able to hide from you. Long old trot down there. I would have hoped I'd have had a bite before it got all the way to the bottom. I have one trout out of this one. Another run down. Just added a bit more depth. Probably going to start dragging on the bottom. There's a fish. Probably a trout. They've got really hard mouths. You bounce out of it quite a few fish. I'm surprised there's not more fish in this spot. It does look nice down there. Lovely, nice looking swims, don't catch this. Here's a fish. Don't know what it is. Feels like a trout. <laughs> Hello, trout. Could be a monster grayling, you never know. Hooligan sea fish. It's a fair bit of flow on that little old hook. Come here, mate. Uh, oh, I think that's got to be the best trout of the day. That's about that for a pretty fish. None of these little two or three ounces down there that I've been catching lately. See how many maggots he's got down his cake hole. You know? God, he's got a fair old set of teeth. Nice, let's put him back. There's a grain in that size, I'll be well chuffed. Right. They're in here. It's half the battle. You can spend a lot of time on waters that haven't got the fish that you want in them. Don't bother. I'm back in the swim where I caught a two pounder earlier. We had two two pounders in two casts. So I've just lost a trout, jumped out. <laughs> oh, there's a bite. It's a bit of a funny swim. There's a bit of a hole just down in front of us. You can see in the slack water there. And um, yes, yeah, it's, it's a typical sort of chalk stream. There's fast bits and then there's deep holes. So we're just down there. Got the last half hour till dark, see what we can catch. My uh, the guy who took me along would be very cross if I catch a two pounder out of here this evening, because he was fishing in here for half an hour. 
I've just stepped in, I see him moving, I thought I'll have a bit of that. He's just down a bit further down the bottom now. Very fast bit of water, really is. I say I need all of a five gram float to do it. Here comes a man with a cup of tea. This is service. Thank you, Rob. One of the weird things about fast water, you get a still patch light. It's gone down there. It's about 20 yards down. It's not going anywhere. Except for under. I did just catch a lovely pipe. I'll show you a picture. Unfortunately, I didn't, <laughs> didn't have the camera with me at the time. We got into a spot and spooked it, and then we saw it panicking going upstream, cast where it was, and then she came out and nailed it. Really plump pike, probably about 10 pound. Chalk stream pike fishing is fantastic, seeing them in the water taking the bait. I'll give you a pan around. Lovely flood meadows. Fish on. What's this? This is a bit wiggly. Might be. Oh no, it's another bloody trout. <laughs> Splashing about. <laughs> it's so uncivilized. <laughs> I'm gonna go down there to net it. See if we can catch one before dark. My personal best grayling is two pounds seven ounces out of the Kennet Barton Court. Unfortunately, you can't try out coarse fish that anymore. It's a lovely bit of water, very similar to this. Lots of flood meadows and stuff. I'm hoping we might see a bar now before the end of the day as well. Oh, there's another bite. There's a few bites down there. No more bites were forthcoming and so here's a picture of the 